Good evening, folks. We've got an update on the effects of Earth's magnetic field shift impacting the atmosphere. This morning, we hit two pre-release announcements from next month's General Assembly of the European Geophysical Union, and they both drive down into a core aspect of the shift, how that magnetic pole shift is going to affect the weather. Now, we've gone over this several times, including just recently in the paper by the Air Force captain. It is directly implicated by the extinctions that happen during geomagnetic shifts, and it follows from what we already know about how space energy impacts the Earth, which will be amplified as the magnetic field continues weakening. Its effects are already being seen. We have gone over several of those studies, dozens actually, discussing how these geomagnetic pole shifts impact extinctions. Pretty much all of them focus on how the decreased magnetic field will allow for greater destruction of ozone due to solar particles, and how that will allow for a larger radiation impact to the surface. This is certainly a key factor, and while all the most important studies agree about this ozone loss factor, there's much more to the story of how the magnetic pole shift impacts the atmosphere. First, let's recap those papers on ozone that we've seen. The loss of ozone due to enhanced solar particle penetration, will increase ultraviolet exposure of the surface. This will provide greater temperature swings, especially higher high temperatures, and will provide for enhanced evaporation, making for more water vapor available in the atmosphere. These papers we hit this morning, however, are some of the first to directly address the second aspect of space energy introduction. The same drop in magnetic field strength that lets in those solar particles to destroy the ozone will also let in more cosmic rays, and those have a much broader impact on the weather and the biosphere, including a source of direct particle radiation on top of the increased energetic UV radiation. The increased cosmic rays impact the clouds and storms and lightning. They not only make the atmosphere more electrified, which allows water vapor and dust to more easily stick together and form clouds, but they create cloud condensation nuclei with their reactions, which amplifies the cloud making process. Now both of those processes, the cloud amplification and the ozone destruction, increase the energy allowed to be introduced into the global electric circuit, making the ups and downs more extreme. So what does that mean when you put those two things together? The extrasolar particle ozone destruction and the extra cosmic rays. In fair weather, sunny day, high pressure, there will be more ultraviolet rays, higher high temperatures, and more evaporation. That heat will also create more convection, and the increased convection and extra water vapor will be utilized by the low pressure systems to have more clouds, more extreme rain, which was the key finding of the two papers this morning, and that extra cloud cover and rain will also cause lower low temperatures, much greater swings between the high and the low, and greater rainfall events. The amplification of the global electric circuit also impacts the jet streams, Hadley cells, ocean temperatures, and more. This more complex picture is what it takes to fully understand the magnetic pole shift, and this is just the weather component. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.